Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, so we've got some COVID here too. This is the Ramble. I'm Alex. We'll be here till midnight, Eastern Daylight Time on the uh, East Coast of the United States. Got something I want to play for you tonight, just uh, as an, in honor of somebody. Uh, we you have had a guest on this program for gee, the longest time. Uh, Will Durst. And about a year ago, Will disappeared. Well, he didn't exactly disappear. Uh, a year ago, yesterday, I think it was, he had a stroke. Has it been a year? And since then, he's been convalescing. On uh, Thursday, we're going to have uh, Debbie Durst on our program to talk about how Will's doing and what the year has been like. But I thought that I would just like to hear his voice again. So... Here it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Will Durst. And his cat was Eloise. Eloise was here, but she no, she's not going to make the cut. Now, what Sorry. are the names of your other cats? Just Madeline. Eloise and Madeline. Okay, named after basically heroines of books. Yes, uh, children's books. Very good. Yeah. Anyway, how are you doing, Will? Uh, shitty life sucks. The world hates me. I'm living in a cartoon. My car is messed up. But it's 13 years old, and I think uh, going on 14. So I, I think I got to get, yeah, yeah. It's about time. Is aren't you, are you the you you're kind of the Larry Bubbles Brown of cars? No, I think he still got his Fiero. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Fie, a Fiero? I think I think didn't he have a Fiero? I think he had a Fiero. Yeah. Yeah, with a Dukakis bumper sticker on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but uh, you don't even have a car. No, I haven't had a car in so long now. I wonder if I know how to drive anymore. Oh, you don't even rent? I've, I've, I've rented, but not recently. Uh, we used to go up to um, um, uh, Vermont, okay, once a year. Uh, and uh, I would rent a car yeah. and drive. But then as the years have gone on, we start, we, we're flying now. You know, uh -huh. it's a little more, it, well, it's, it's not. I'd like to say it's uh, less exp it's more expensive flying, but it really isn't. Here's the reason why. If you go into Hertz and you rent a car, yeah, and yeah. you say, I want it for three days. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, it's going to cost you about, uh, oh, I think it was, what was the price that I saw on it? Something like, something like $500. For three days. Maybe, maybe $600, yeah. For three, for days. three days, yeah. But if I rent it for a week, it's only three hundred and twenty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've got to rent it for a week. So now we got to figure out a. So we take the we fly. <laughs> what the hell? It's cheaper than renting a car for three and, days. And do you stay at a at a hotel? Or no, no. We have we have some house? friends have a very nice house there on the on on the lake on Lake I think Champlain it is. Yeah, and yeah. it's really right there nice. In Burlington. It's yeah. very nice. Burlington, yeah. It's well, yeah, uh, near Burlington. So you fly into Burlington. Fly into Burlington, yeah. Okay. yeah. So anyway, so I that so the last time I drove was about three years ago, maybe. And I just don't know if I know how to drive any longer. I, I you know, it, the idea of getting behind the wheel of a car feels strange to me now. Well, know, once you get out of New York. Yeah, uh, driving is fairly easy, but you probably know your way around New York. You know the freeways. Yeah, uh, I've never been more discombobulated as trying to drive uh, into New York to where was I going? JFK, I think from from Woodstock. I was in Woodstock, yeah. and I had to uh, drive my car uh, to uh, JFK, and uh, the freeway signage was not very good. So I got very confused. I think I paid the same toll three times. Yeah, well, that 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 could very well be. Uh, <laughs> I uh, no, but I just 
I don't know. I mean, I, when I lived in California, I had a car, and uh, it, it was like I drove ever since I was like 16 years old when you could kind of get a, 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 what do you call a learner's permit. And I, I drove everywhere. I mean, I just, you know, I got out of the car and... And then I got back into the car, and if I had to go up to the uh, uh, the pharmacy, it was three blocks away. You got in the car, right? You know. So I mean, I drove everywhere, and I can't imagine that I don't know how to drive anymore. But I'm afraid of it. No, you you know how to drive. Yeah. You get in the the thing is the cars. Uh, the technology is so different. I my car died. And I had an up-to-date car in 19, no, in, in 2007, 2006. Yeah. yeah. And um, I'm renting a car right now, and all the bells and whistles are incredible. Yeah. Yeah. In well, a good way. Yeah. Well, yeah, but isn't it, does, a creepy way doesn't too. it have a tendency, mind you, to, to kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, kind of throw you off because of all this new technology in the car, you know. I mean, all of a sudden you got this big screen in front of you that's sending you information, you know, and you're distracted by that. I mean, I don't, I don't have the uh, overhead uh, projection part. No, I just have <laughs> the little screen on the right. Yeah. No, they have in deck uh, in the windshield. They have. Oh really? Have the, oh really? Yeah, they have, yeah, that they used to have in jets. They See, have that now. Is it, is it my imagination? Well, let's say I rented a car three years ago, and it had some new technology, but I knew, I could figure it out pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but in three years, I think it's like immensely improved the technology, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, well, the audio technology. I, I I still remember when we were when we were under the thumb of the. Uh, radio guys you know where you had to listen what they listened to and then the cassette came in and then the cassette you could determine what you were listening to and now yeah, I mean, wait a minute you could also then uh, then the cds came in and the eight tracks and yeah well, eight track eight, eight track cassette cds and the, and then uh and then it was uh uh the streaming and uh, the satellite radio and and now you with with no effort whatsoever from your phone, you can send to the radio. So you get all your podcasts, all your saved radio shows, or or all your playlists. You can send that to your car, and it will play it out. And yeah. you won't run out down your battery because there's a charger right there. <laughs> it's it's incredible. Yo, I mean, I, I listened to Greg Proops the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, in a rental car off my phone because I have his podcast. So yeah. that's what that's what people are doing now. And I, I did not know this because I did not have a car that came even close. Wow, because I, uh, um, yeah, because what I, used, what I did and have done is they always tried to rent me uh, a, uh, a GPS, right? You want a GPS with a car so you can take you where you want to go. And so I didn't, don't need that anymore. Oh. It's in my phone. Yeah. You know, it's part of uh, part of uh, I don't know iPhone the iPhone. I can't remember which app yeah. it is, but it's a map app. Yeah. And you just say so I'm Wade, going here Wade's and, and uh, yeah. the Google Maps and Apple Maps. Yeah, and they're and all so, pretty good. And so what Apple. I do is I plug that into the car that I'm listening to the music on my music on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, then as I'm going, she'll interrupt the music and say, turn left here, turn right there, in 30 miles, you're gonna have an off-ramp, whatever. Yeah. So you don't need that, so what? that's why the rents on cars are so high, because they can't sell you all that other shit. Yeah, my joke is, it used to be only NASA had GPS units, and now I have two of them, one in my car and one in my pocket. Yeah, exactly, so you know, it, it uh, and I remember, I was one of the first people to get a GPS unit in my car. Do you remember? Do you remember oh, no, me when no. I had a GPS unit in the car? And I loved, what I loved about it was when somebody would say, oh, okay, so we live over the hill, blah, blah, blah. And I, I would say to them, uh, uh, no thanks, don't tell me, just give me your address. And, and they would say, well, why just my, our address? I, I've got a GPS, it'll take me there. And then I just put in the address and it would take me there. 
And I always love to brag about that. I love the GPS. I couldn't live without. And it was one of the it was one of the first ones. I think it cost like two thousand bucks to put it in the car. And now you don't even put one in the car if, if okay. you don't have to buy one. You just use no. your iPhone. You need a holder for your phone. Yeah, but, exactly, exactly. So anyway, uh, what do you think about uh, th- things uh, political these days? Uh, anything? Uh, Paying attention, I don't care. Huh? Except for the State of the Union. State of the Union was, uh, I thought he gave a pretty good speech. Yeah? Why? What was good about it? Tell me. Uh, it was rational. Uh, he wasn't, you know, eating fire or uh, he wasn't, it wasn't blind revenge. It was, except what he said, uh, no, <laughs> you, you shouldn't have any partisan uh, investigations or America will go to war. You know, except for that part. <laughs> and also, he, he claimed he claimed responsibility for more women in the Congress than ever before, even though uh, <laughs> out of 127 women in Congress, uh, 106 of them are Democrats. The, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he didn't even mention that. Yeah. Am I, with the Me Too people be mad at me if I said yes. that? Yes. Uh, stop right there. Yeah, you know what I'm going to say. No, but it doesn't matter. Whenever you preface a statement with, uh, I don't mean to sound racist, but <laughs> no, I didn't say racist. The sexist. No, no, no. no. You racist. said the Me Too movement. Yeah, yeah. Me Too. What? Sexist. So yes, yes, they will be mad. What was it? I was going to say Alexandria Ocasio Cortez is hot. No, I don't think they'll they'll be. Yeah, because every time they would take a picture of all the women in Congress, the new ones, yeah. she just lit up. She just, the, there was a, like an aura. There was a halo around her, you know? But what 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 about her, her idea that uh, Israel shouldn't exist? No, that isn't, that isn't Alexandria uh, yeah, yeah. Casio cortez yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's the... Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's also Alexandria. Oh, really? All, oh. All, yeah. Well... She's a big fan of Palestine. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> so I don't care. Okay, no problem. Then. You know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Not but, Judea. Hmm? You're not a big fan of Judea. I'm, I've never been a big fan of Israel. I, I think Israel is very warlike. I think that they never learned any lessons from being in concentration camps. You know, uh, I, 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 I don't know. I'm just bothered by it, you know. So what do you think about these Democrats coming out at the same time? Do you see Amy Klobuchar? Well, in the snow? yeah, but you know. Uh, Great visual, though. Uh, what? Great visual with the snow. Oh, oh, really? Yes, I saw that. Yeah. 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 That was Minnesota. That was Amy Klobuchar. Yeah. Um, well, what do you think of some of these candidates? I mean, I think the Democrats haven't come up with anything interesting yet. You know what was interesting was last night, and I didn't get to see it because I had to go out to dinner with a, a friend from out of town, but uh, last night was the dueling El Paso rally yeah, yeah. with uh, Beto and Donald, and uh, that would have been interesting because well, Donald just made up these lies and said something about El Paso, and, you know, that was, you know, might have, out of, out of, out of a story like this, he, he might have picked like that part right there in this mm-hmm. part and put them together and made it that the whole story. And uh, so Beto, whose district uh, El Paso is, who he was talking about, he held uh, an opposing rally. And I have no idea what happened. Yeah, I, I saw that he had an opposing rally and they didn't talk much about it. They mentioned it, which leads me to believe that he didn't get a big crowd. Ah, uh, which uh-huh. you know, but I don't know. I haven't. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I at this point, folks, I have to go look at the news and find out for sure. But yeah. when they're I not, paid, when they're I not saying, look at all, back. look at all these people that showed up for this thing, you know. You got your New York Times there, huh? Well, well, yeah, but it's it's intact. I haven't pulled the the paper apart yet. What do you pull out first? Uh, front page, New York Times. I read the front page. And then I read the editorial page. Yeah, because in the San Francisco Chronicle on the Sunday paper, everybody used to say it's like a grapefruit. 
you take the pink out first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's driving me crazy. You go into sync and then you go out of sync. It's really, th thank you very much, uh, 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 Skype. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, so you felt that his State of the Union was cool. Or that he no, was no. better. No, no, I, I didn't say it was cool. I thought it was uh, rational. Yeah. It was rational. Yeah, there were a couple of uh, overstatements. There were, uh, he took credit for shit that he had nothing to do with, and, and he made wildly optimistic predictions. But that's what the State of the Union is. That's <laughs> what everybody does. Even Jimmy Carter did that. You know, so, uh, yeah, so. That that was surprising, you know. There was no American carnage or or any of that. But then he just lied throughout the entire thing, you know. But I, I just meant the tone was was much more civil than in past years. There's this show on Showtime called the the Circus, mm -hmm. and it deals with politics every week. And and this week they dealt with the State of the Union, and it opens up with an old grainy black and white of uh, of the uh, State of the Union with I think Truman. And then he's saying the State of the Union is good, you know. And then they go to uh, the next president, Eisenhower. The State of the Union is good, you know. And they go to the next president. The State of the Union is wonderful or whatever. And then they finally get to Trump and he goes, the State of the Union is. And then they go to shots of fighting, arguing, uh, kids in, uh, in concentration camps, uh, you know, all these horrible things that have happened under Trump. And then they come back to him and he goes, the State of the Union is terrific, <laughs> you know, or whatever he said. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. They, always say, they always say that no matter what's going on, they always say the State of the Union is good. Well, they're president, so they're kind of responsible. So they have to they have to re reflect that it's being good. Otherwise, well, people would say, "Well, what the hell are you doing about it?" You know, and why? Why? What do you mean it sucks? State of the Union sucks. Yeah. 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 yeah well, the this, yeah, but it, it but it, you know, I mean, I just felt that. Uh, oh, I, I mean, you're right. He kind of maintained his place as the good boy the other night. He he was the kid who was told by his parents now, you know, don't make noise at the dinner table. He know? used his indoor voice. He used yeah. his indoor voice. But most of it wasn't taken up with things that, you know, most presidents are, are always, uh, 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 what do you, who are you waving at? Yeah, say hello. Uh, uh, there she is. Hello. <laughs> that's that's the funniest woman in America. Yes, she is. According to Alex Bennett and Robin Williams. That, that's the lovely the lovely Deborah Durst. Hello. Hello, yes. Alex. Yes. And uh, how long have you two been married now? Thirty seven years. Six of the happiest years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-seven years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember at the punchline when uh, John Hutchinson held the? It wasn't. It for wasn't us? Hutch. It was. Uh, oh, Bob, uh, Bob. Bob Fisher. Bob Fisher. Bob Fisher. Held a benefit for you. What, what do you mean? Yeah. Well, we to send us off to Vegas. We were dirt poor, and uh, we decided to get married. So uh, we he held a benefit for us, and Stephen Pearl drew the poster and everybody performed for free and we got the money at the door and yeah. ran away to Vegas. Yeah. Wow. And that was 37 years ago? Yeah. yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Quit reminding me how old I've gotten. I know. Ah. It's weird being able to throw numbers like that around. Oh, jeez <laughs> almighty. You know, I mean, well, I guess I've known you that long. Yes, yes. Yeah, you have. Good grief. And you don't look a day over 20. Oh, yes. Yeah, shut up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I have to go to the bank now and yell at people. Uh, yeah, oh, oh yeah. okay. Is that well? That's what old people do. They go to the bank and yell at people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they give you some free tea and cookies. Just go away. <laughs> <laughs> love you. Mm, I love you too, Deborah. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. Or hey. or as she's known in the business, Debbie. Yeah. Debbie yeah. Durst. Debbie Ann Piquel Durst. She's actually gotten more movie work than you, hasn't she? Yes. Yes. Yeah. She's. What What are some of her credits? Uh, she was in uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Boy, she was in Monkey Bone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, she was in Monkey Bone. What else? A beautiful boy. 
Oh, she was in Beautiful Boy. Have you seen uh, the one with Steve Carell? Wait, I saw it, but where is she in there? She's just an extra on the street on Hate Street when he's looking for her. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I, I'll go looking for her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, looking for his son. I'm sorry, looking yeah. for his son. No, but what well, I she, it, she was in another movie, and I can't remember. Yeah, getting back to what you know about his State of the Union. So he had he had his he had his indoor voice on, but uh, nevertheless, he spent most of it not saying what presidents normally do about. Here's what I'd like to accomplish in the next year. Here's what you know I think we should be yeah, yeah. the direction we should be going. There was none of that. It was just either listing his own accomplishments. Or pointing out people in the audience who were like Holocaust survivors and, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that poor kid, the cancer kid. Oh, man, she uh, being used as a prop by Trump, you know. Yeah. It's not bad enough to have cancer. And he, he didn't mention kids in the cages. He didn't mention a lot of shit. He, did, he didn't mention Vladimir Putin. He didn't mention uh, uh, Maria uh, Butina. He didn't mention... Uh, uh, Paul Manafort, or do you know who one Cole? congressman and I can't remember who the congressman was brought to the State of the Union was a Guatemalan mother and her daughter who came into this country, uh, and and uh, they were they went to the speech too, but he didn't point them out and say, "Here's some Guatemalan kids who came over the border seeking asylum." You know, no, it was Holocaust survivor, World War II vet most of whom couldn't stand up, and the one who could stand up was saluting the president, you know. It was, yeah. uh, I find that part of it kind of pathetic. I, I, I feel like I'm watching a cheap version of the Ed Sullivan show. I know. And in our fun. audience tonight, we have Shecky Shecky, you know. So. Uh, I don't like the idea of human props. Well, but uh, but they all use them, I know and they that. always use them at the State of the Union address. But at least with most State of the Union addresses, they don't talk about their accomplishments as much about where we're going and where they would like the country yeah. to go. And there was none of that from him. It was all about me, me, me. Here's what we've done. Employment, unemployment is the best it's ever been, which is a lie. Uh, you know, I mean, he there, a lot of lies in that speech. I think a lot that, of lies. And a lot of standing ovations, you know, uh, a lot of lines uh, where the Republicans would stand and the Democrats wouldn't. And, Did you uh, like Nancy's clapping in his face, though? With the, yeah, what was that? that uh, Pat Oswald called it the fuck you clap. Oh, no, really? Was that it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, they're replaying that one a lot, you know. And uh, her relationship with Mike Pence, Mike Pence... And this is my line on stage, but Mike Pence is stiffer than Mitch McConnell wearing buttless chaps on a gay pride parade float. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Pence was just, just, and oh man. Pence is like a toady, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's he's like a, a toady wrapped up in a, in, a, in a Bible. And he's always like two steps behind the president, everywhere, in everything. He's always in the shot. Never interrupts. No, he's, yeah, he's he's the scheming toady. Yeah, he's like he's like uh, Iago. You know. Do you think there's part of him that wishes Trump would die and he could become president, uh, or that he would know, get? You know, what'd be ironic is if Trump got uh, taken down by the whole Stormy Daniels uh, thing, because then Mike Pence would become president because of a porn star. And the irony would melt him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, son of a bitch. So what do you got coming up? Me? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Death, I think. Yeah? yeah soon? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, soon. Uh, not soon. Not soon, uh, hopefully. Yeah, but, yeah. but but that's, you know, Dip I mean, I always had something to look forward to. Hey, on Friday we're going to the movies, or on Saturday we're going to L.A. or something like that, you know. And I was you always out LA? doing something, and now the only thing I have to look forward to is death. Well, see, that's why you, you set up uh, appointments that you go to the movies. Or you Have you seen any plays? Uh, we went and saw, uh, what was it? We saw something a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Evan uh, Hansen. 
Oh, dear Evan, dear Hansen. Evan Hansen. Yeah, it was it was yeah, it was okay. good. Not my kind of show exactly, but I liked it. You it know, was, it was okay. Yeah, but it you're was, you're the was, guy. You're the guy. The kids. You, you're the, the guy kids. who got the obstructed view seat of network. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you? No. Did you see network? No, no, no. It's too expensive. You can't get it, and you can't get a ticket get, for it. Get the obstructed seat. I'm telling you. Really? Call, call up the box office. Well, what, 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 I, I can't remember. What was obstructing your view exactly? The stage. The stage. I was in the front row. The stage was right here. Really? Yeah. Some and so them. everybody was up there. So oh, okay. Your neck. That wow. was it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well. For 89 bucks. How much? 89 bucks? As opposed to 489, three rows over and three seats in. Yeah. So what's the weather like in San Francisco? Let's see out the window there. Let me let me just see. This is a daytime. Oh, oh, that's that's, that's a nice view. It's kind of uh, overcast, right? Yeah, it's about fifty three. It's yeah. gonna rain. Yeah, it rained, uh, rained and rained and rained, and tomorrow it's gonna rain again. And then Friday I go to Mendocino mm -hmm. for the Mendocino Film Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the real festival. It's kind of a uh, an adjunct and then next week I go to Reno and uh, next week I'm doing 142 Throckmorton which is a great little theater that they've resuscitated in Mill Valley and so yeah just just working and uh, yeah see see so you have something to look forward to yeah yeah so I will live vicariously through your future all right uh, yeah I'll <laughs> so try to I'll try to post more more shit on Ant's Instagram. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there he is, uh, our old friend and comic supreme. It's always fun. Will Durst. Bye-bye. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Uh, yes, well, that was Will Durst, and I wanted to play him again because I just love the man, and uh, it's such a shame what happened because one of the great political voices in comedy has been not stilled, but uh, stint, uh, stunted? I guess that's the term I'm looking for, stunted. I'm putting my watch on. I just I always juice it up this time of night. Uh, remember in the old days where you had to wind them up? Well, now you now you have to stick them in the wall. Okay, all right. Anyway, uh, listen, uh, we got some people here, and uh, they're ready to go. Uh, at least three of them are here, but one of them went away. But we'll go with the two we got. And let me go here, and uh, there uh, we got one there. Uh, let me see here, uh, Charlie. You should be joining too. I don't. Uh, I don't see Charlie. Well, ooh, ooh, that's not what I want. I want something else. I wait a minute. That that's that's all wrong. Oh, oh I see. That's what I got to do. There we go. Okay. Hello, Charlie. How are you, Charlie? Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? I can hear you. Audio's coming in, Charlie. Yeah, he's coming in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just I, wanted, uh, I, I just want to make sure you can hear me. That's all. I, otherwise, I really don't care. I mean, you know. Remember, I told you after coronavirus, it's just going to be the three of us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> We're going for an hour, though. Okay. I'll tell you, it's not. It's not going good out there. I just read tonight that they're really closing down all of France. Wow. They wow. just they said it's just gotten out of hand and they just got to close everything down like it was before. Yeah, so, Italy spiking and you know, yeah, all, yeah. all the spiking and so on. And here in New York, it it's it's not spiking, but we have some hot spots and uh, they're uh, they're getting on top of the case and uh, hopefully we can hold it back. But I told Marjorie tonight. I said I think we've our our time of going out has stopped, you know. I mean, uh, and we don't go out that much, but I don't know that I want to go out there at all, you know. I mean, it's it's pretty terrible all the way around. It, it's funny when you listen to you and Will at that time, because you were complaining about not doing anything then, and you had freedom. 
<laughs> yeah. Now, now, now you're really locked in. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Uh, but uh, you know, I mean, um, well, I mean, I I did go out. I mean, here's the thing I could do. I, if I want to go to a movie, I go to a movie. Or if we want to go out to dinner, we could go out to dinner. I mean, yeah. there was the freedom to do stuff. Now. Really, I just stay in the neighborhood, and even here, I'm getting to worry about the infection rate going up because of all these people without their goddamn masks on. You know, I mean, who do they think they are? Donald Trump? Yeah. You know, uh, no, no social distancing in the White House. Now, you want Nothing. to talk about a cluster you-know-what. What's going on at the White House is a complete cluster. You know? Oh, hold on a second, you know, Trump won't be satisfied till they're all dead. Yep, every single company, our company included, you talk even the Vernon for Home Depot for any single company. You go back to your company when it's opening, and there are COVID signs everywhere. There's distancing everywhere. There's all this stuff everywhere. And the White House, there's nothing. Wow, wow, yeah, yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Jeez. Uh, uh, it, uh, first of all, I mean, it, it's a question of what the hell is going on, you know? And I'm, I'm, I'm a little lagged here, folks, if you're seeing me out of sync. Um, what's happened in the, well, since I saw you guys last on Friday, on Friday, the only news we had is they picked them up in a helicopter and took them over to, uh, uh, Bethesda. Uh, and since then, we've had all kinds of things happen, not the least of which is, I don't think he's well. Do any of you think he's well? Uh, I you mean, know how I feel about it. Well, you, you feel it. Okay, <laughs> give me your theory. I, I just think, you know, I mean, I, I'd love to be this paranoid. Go ahead, Charlie. I think it's all a hoax. That's his October surprise. He's faking it. Everybody else is sick. I have no doubt that, that Kaylee McEnany and, and, and Kellyanne Conway and all that, they really are sick. And, and the senators. But Trump, I don't think he's sick. I think he's faking it. And he's making this miraculous <clears throat> recovery so that he can, and he's already said it. So he can come back and say, see, COVID is not so bad. Everybody go back out and, 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 and go back to normal. I I don't think it's that easy. I think he I think he's saying here, here well let's let's back up a little bit here for a second. Um, here's the here's the problem. Um, I think he really has it. I think that what you're seeing are the results of uh, who do we lose? Did we lose somebody here? No. no. No, oh, and yet all oh yeah okay all right i'm out of it today again as usual um how can i put this uh i think that he really does have it and i think the cocktails that they're giving him are driving him crazy yeah. all right those steroids for instance can make you feel like you're feeling just great but when you stop taking the steroids which is going to happen you take a plunge. Now, when I saw him standing on that balcony, yeah. which, by the way, was the worst place for him to do a photo op because that balcony is reserved for very special occasions. Okay, the Pope. Okay? Yeah. You know, um, it's called the Truman Balcony. Uh, and he stood there. And somebody pointed out, he looks like he's having a hard time breathing. And there it is. He's having a hard time breathing. So um, I don't think he's that well. I think that we're going to, I think we're suddenly going to hear that the helicopter's been called again to take him back to Bethesda. <laughs> All right? And quite frankly, I think because of the way he is handling this situation, you see, here he's got a thing he can do here that, we, that may lend to your credence, Charlie, that it's a fake, but it's not a fake. But to, it'll play into your theory. He's the commander in chief, and who are these doctors? They're military. They're military. 
And if he's the commander in chief, what do you have to do? Anything he tells you to. Yeah. Okay. Well, they, they, and they also say sometimes I've heard these people talk when they meet him, they're in awe and they, as anything he says, they will do, you know, like, but they, he's supposed to be in isolation for 10 days. Yeah. Anybody, anybody, when they get, when they have the, when they were there reading, uh, they're positive, they're supposed to be isolated for 10 days, regardless of well, any. Well, isn't it, isn't it 14 days? Is, isn't it 14 yeah, days? Yeah, No, 10 days, at least 10 days isolation. Yeah, yeah but he's had symptoms. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't you isolate him longer than that? Yeah, they were saying that those those uh, those uh, Secret Service guys are going to have to isolate for 14 days. Yeah. They were in the car with. Now, I noticed something, and I'm going to point this out, and then you're going to go back, and in the next coming days, you're going to watch it. I noticed something when he was getting on the helicopter to go to Bethesda. When he got to the top of the stairs, he did something. The handle, which he was holding on to as he went up the stairs, he tapped on three times. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. When he was coming out of Bethesda and there was a railing there, yeah. he tapped it three yep. times. And then when he got to the bottom, he tapped it three times. And by the way, before he went down, he tapped his leg a couple yeah. of times. QAnon signal. No, no. I have, no. I have that same thing. It's, yes, it's OCD. That's what I was going to say. It's like he's OCD. It's OCD. Yeah. It absolutely is because I do it. I do it, you know. I, I've been doing it for the last uh, 30, 40 years, right? Before <laughs> I did something and I wanted to have good luck, sometimes I would tap my, you know. And I, he was, ta you watch him. You watch those, yeah. those incidences. Oh. I noticed him when he was watching when when he was going down because I know everybody was watching to see if he was what he was going to do to compensate for showing that he was healthy, and I took it I took it a little different. I took it as in he wanted to grab that railing, but then he didn't at the uh, right before he grabs it. He says, "Hey, I cannot grab this railing or I'm going to look weak," and so he sort of tapped it as nervousness. But you have the you have the, the experience more than me. I didn't notice that he tapped it coming out of the helicopter, but he may well have. He does that no, before. No, just, no it, it was coming out of the hospital. Coming, coming out, out of the hospital. hospital. Yeah. 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 Like you saw it. Like but saw he it. tapped it three times, and then when he got to the next rail, he tapped that one three times. Right. Yeah. He's OCD. So. He's OCD. And I'm surprised well, like he wants to assure himself that the rail is there in case he has to grab it. Like no, no, because it, that that's rail. what I thought. I, I know what he was doing because I do it. Okay. Because that, that is my form of OCD, very minor OCD. You know, uh, you're not going to have to send me to a shrink to cure, cure it or whatever, but that's his OCD, hmm. you know, showing up. So anyway, um, I mean, I just don't know if this guy is going to make it because I think he's going to die because of his own hubris. Yeah, because uh, Herman came about 10 days after. He was talking about how he, he was feeling better. Before it, went, before it got worse again, he finally ended up dying. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they're giving him so much. Stuff. To begin with, his chief, surge, his chief, chief doctor, the president's uh, doctor, Okay. Uh, what's his What's his uh, specialty? Navy. No, he's Navy. But what, <laughs> what, what, what What's his specialty? It's some a surgeon patches. No. You see the big no, patchy. No, it's on? some oh, name that you never. <laughs> Chief of General never hear of fuckery. No, he's an osteopath. Right. Yeah. What does he know about this sort of thing? And he's calling the shots. This, I, I, I swear to you, Trump's going to take a turn for the worse. It's just going to happen. Then I'll believe it. You'll Did you see the doctor's? <laughs> Did you see the doctor's patch though? He had no on his jacket. He had a he or his his coat. He had a huge patch 
It was the the presidential seal. Oh, yeah, they yeah, used the president. Right, the president right on this side, and then yeah. on this side, I think it said the uh, uh, sir, uh, president, doc, uh, physician to the president, or whatever. Yeah, something. It's like, oh my god. And they say, really? oh, well, we got we got facilities is great uh, at the White House. Well, then why did you take him to Bethesda? Yeah, because he's the president. That's yeah. what he said. And then I loved him. He did it's this like, thing, which I mean, you know, this blends in, of course, to. Your theory, uh, Charlie, that he uh, he gave this spe little speech, little spiel on uh, on online uh, that uh, he's really learned from this, and this has been a real learning course. And I've gotten to know everything I need to know about this disease, boy. You know, and now I'm going to go for a ride. Uh, come on, you didn't learn anything. Did you see the Lincoln Project video of that? No. They showed him saying that speech, and mm -hmm. they said, I learned a lot. And they just showed all the deaths, all the people being wheeled out, and stretchers and everything. It's really, really good. Yeah. he learned. It, it took him this to learn a lot. You yeah. know, and then don't be afraid. Today, Cuomo said, don't listen to him. Be afraid. He said, the only way we're going to lick this thing is if you're afraid. You know? He said, be very afraid. This is a very terrible, terrible disease. And yeah, why, why doesn't he tell those 210,000 people that they shouldn't let COVID control their lives? Well, I mean, it was easy easy for him because he's got every piece of medicine available to him that you could possibly have. And I think some of that is bad medicine. I mean, the steroids are going to turn around and they're like a yo-yo, okay? Mm -hmm. When he comes out of those steroids, he's going to plunge like you you haven't seen. That's keeping his temperature down. Yeah. You know, that's keeping everything in line. But you don't keep them on those steroids forever. I mean, it's really, it's a, it's amazing. Yeah. It's just amazing what's happening. And, but this uh, point is, I did fine with it, so everybody else should be doing fine, too. So don't worry about it. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have a helicopter to take me to the doctor. And I don't have um, uh, every drug known to mankind that's yeah. being used against this thing to be thrown at me before I even need it. I mean, these are drugs that are thrown at people once they go into intubation, you know? Well, supposedly there's not one other person in the whole country that's gotten the whole cocktail that he's got. Right, right. So, you know, I mean, this can't be good. And he did not look good last night on that balcony. No. And everything is, um, is uh, cosmetic. Um, but he doesn't look well to me. Uh, and yes, yes. Uh, what is it tonight? Spike, was, Spike McFaddy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear today he was going to go to um, the v, the VP debate and and he was going to join in on the debate. Oh, <laughs> well, see Did that, he say that? that. He said that. I heard that. That's the steroids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that that's the steroids talking. Can you imagine if he showed up and he just got on stage and started yabbering away? That would be fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> he's crazy. Well, he's, he's even, if you think he's nuts then, with the yeah. drugs that are in him, he's going to get nuttier. <laughs> okay? I mean, somebody tonight was saying on one of these programs that, that what they're worried about is that he is going to become so crazed by this and he's in charge mm -hmm. you know and he can he you know go ahead drop the bomb Bring you're on the button yeah that this is he was worried about him being in this uh, uh getting this cocktail these cocktails you know and what is a, really an overdose of these drugs and it, it cut off stimulus talks also, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It cut off the stimulus talks of said until, unless, or what do you say? Until, until after I'm, I get reelected. Yeah. 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 No stimulus unless he gets reelected. Jeez. Hmm. Oh, my God. I've never seen this. Yeah, but he understands it all now, doesn't he? Hmm. You know, I mean, there he is not, I, I think, quite frankly, isn't there a 25th Amendment or something where they can... Say yeah. he's not fit to, to serve right now. Yeah, but everybody's so now, Unfortunately, there is no real well written document on how to do it. 
I mean, there's yeah, the ability to do it, but not how you pull it off. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The Republicans are scared shitless of him. Yeah. Right. Reminds me, you ever see that uh, that Twilight uh, episode where the little kid controls all the adults and they're all scared? Oh, of them? yeah. Twilight Zone. Oh, they're yeah. sending you going to, going That's to the... That reminds me of the Republicans. Send them to the corn <laughs> patch or something, the cornfield. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was Billy Moomy was the kid. Yeah, yeah, the the, yeah, from yeah. Lost in Space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, That's Trump <laughs> and the Republicans. Yeah, I, yeah. I just think, uh, I think that something should be done to take him away from the helm right now. I mean, even if that puts Pence in power. Uh, the uh, Republicans aren't going to do it. They've been scared of him for the whole three and a half, yeah. four years. Yep. What are they frightened of? He's been dead. Getting reelected. Well, he may be he gets been... reelected. They're dead. Yeah, but you know, I mean, there's sometimes there's a point at which the dog, after he's been beaten enough, just they all jump on the master. You yeah, know, it's gonna take a while to get there. You know, I. But I, it's gonna get there. Well, I mean, it's gonna happen soon because he, it, at the rate he's going, from what we can see, has he got a chance of winning this election? No, I he's don't. losing ground. In the poll. I mean, he's it, it, in one poll, Biden is 17 points ahead of him. Yeah. And yeah. in the worst poll, he's like 13 points ahead of him. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, uh, well, well, he, he could still be playing the Electoral College. I don't think with that much of a, of a, no. dis, a, a distance. Remember, the, I said 40 states he's going to lose. You, you're saying 40 states? Yeah. Now, how do you think this whole thing is going to p play for him? I mean, all of a sudden, people are being presented with what essentially is a sick candidate. How do you think that's going to play? Well, he'll just take you that an excuse. I mean, he, that, uh, I quit. I'm sick. Do you, I talk, won. do you talk to anybody in your neighborhood at all about this, Charlie? Well, no, I don't go out, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't talk to anybody. I'm not going <laughs> out. Yeah. By the way, we could use some more callers here tonight. I'd appreciate it. It would be nice, you know, but I got a good crowd here, so what do I care? I, uh, yes, John. I wonder if he could, uh, like, if he loses, but in the, in the lame duck time, uh, have uh, you know resign or something, and then have Pence um, pardon him for any crimes that he did. Could he do that? Yeah. Um, why? Yes. Uh, really? I suppose. Yeah. yeah. It's legal. Would well, do you think he would do that? If he becomes president. He well, I mean, it. Gerald right. Ford pardoned Richard Nixon, even yeah. though he wasn't charged right. with anything. Was that was that after though? Uh, after Carter beat him? No, no I don't no, think so. No, 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 no. no. That was he did that before Carter beat him. Yeah, yeah. As soon as what he took Carter beat president. Carter beat Ford. Ford pardoned Nixon. Yeah, uh, I know. And everybody gave him heat for it. And at the time, and I still say I think it was a, it was the right thing to do. He said he felt the country had gone through so much he didn't want him to have to go through more of it. You know. And and he thought better of the country that way. Yes. Yeah, but I don't think I don't think our president cares about that now. Well, he cares about not being held accountable for illegal misdeeds. Charlie, the president was because Nixon was never really he never had to pay except for losing his job. Never had to pay for his crimes. So now. George Bush, W. Bush, did worse than Nixon, and then he never had to pay for any of his crime. And mm -hmm. now we got Trump doing all this crap because he thinks he's never going to have to pay for his crimes. Well, he may be right. You know, I mean, do we do we want to go after ex-presidents? That's the question. You yeah, know, when they I mean, do something like that. I yeah. mean, um, what if he agrees to disappear? And we don't have to hear him from him forever. <laughs> well, what, Trump can't do that. What if he? Agree, <laughs> what if he agrees to disappear? Hmm. 
Sign on the dotted line, okay? Exactly. Because <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, I, I'll tell you, one of the reasons he's going to lose this election has nothing to do with the fact of what he's done to the United States of America. Because I don't think America is that smart to vote for him based on his performance. I think they're just sick of him. They have Trump fatigue. You know, and this is the way to get him off their TV screens is by going in and voting against him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, aren't you guys tired of him? I mean, well, of course, we're Absolutely. we're all right. We're all left wingers here. Anybody, any right winger out there want to call? Do we have anybody? I'm like, look, um, any of you guys? Who it doesn't look. Trump was gasping I, for I breath. Snoozed, I snoozed all of, my, all of my Republican friends because you can snooze for 30 days, mm. and 30 days from now is just past the election, so I don't have to hear from them for a while. What do you mean <laughs> snooze them? What, what, what is on, that? On Facebook, you can snooze for 30 days. So 30 days right now is just past the election, so it's perfect timing to snooze all my Republican friends. <laughs> oh, really? Why do they keep... You don't, you don't unfriend them, just snooze them for 30 days. You don't have to hear from them. Do you, do you keep writing them? No. No. Because they I, just I mean, keep do, blabbing do, with their oh, they, extreme... Yeah. 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 I always hesitate to I put... Do it too. I always hesitate to put anything up on Facebook uh, outside of these shows. Because anytime I make a comment, I get this stream of, in, in a lot of cases of pure and utter drivel, you know, uh, and and then I got to sit there and I'm editing it, getting rid of some of them because they're ridiculous, you know, and so on. Uh, but by the time you start out, I go like, you know, Trump did not look well on the balcony. And then the first person goes, no, he didn't. And by the time you get to the 10th, they're on another subject altogether. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And remember when you put that you uh, you had the results from your doctor from your cancer, and then mm -hmm. everybody thought you were dying. <laughs> oh, yeah. You yeah. remember you had that little thing about your cancer treatment, and then you had hundreds of replies? Yeah. You know, like you. Well, you know, I think I'm dying of something else now. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I, I, I'm just tired all the time. But Marjorie says she's tired all the time. I, I just think. This COVID thing, I mean, you go, where can I go where there isn't COVID? Well, first, I, it, it go anywhere far enough where there isn't enough COVID, you got to get on a plane. Good That's good. suicidal, all right? I think if we look around the world, I could go to my map. Let me see here. Let me go get my New map Zealand. out. Huh? New Zealand. No, they won't let you there. Okay, well, I don't know that that's all that great right now. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Up, 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 coronavirus. There we go. Here we go. Oh, hang here. out with Jeff. Hang out with Jeff for a while. Here, yeah. Here's my map, and let me. Uh, downstairs. Let me let me let me bring it <laughs> In out the bunker here. downstairs. Okay, and <sighs> let me see here. Here's here's the screen coming up. Okay, <clears throat> and. Uh, uh, if we, uh, if I do this, okay, you, you, they, they can see it. You guys can't. But uh, when we go to various countries, uh, I'm looking for the ones where there's just like one little dot somewhere. Okay, so there's a little dot. Where is that? French Polynesia, nine nice. nine deaths, and uh, two thousand two hundred and twenty eight. Cases. Okay, here we go. We only it. got about 500 people that live there, though. Let's see here. <laughs> That's right. Honolulu, there were only 112 deaths. That might not be a bad, uh, a bad deal. Okay. Let me see here. Hold on a second. I've got a. I have a hard time getting this thing to um, um, go right oh, there. Oh, we yeah, go. New Zealand. There. Huh? I don't have any bread at all. Uh, where's New Zealand? Yeah, I, I heard that they have more um, more coronavirus cases in the White House than New Zealand. Yeah. Well, <laughs> wait a minute. New Zealand and Australia combined. Oh well, wait a minute. Where where is this? Well, New Guinea has seven mm -hmm. deaths, five hundred forty one cases. Uh, let me see here. Here's Australia, but there are parts of Australia where, for instance, Queensland is only six deaths. 
uh, but there are uh, 809 deaths in Victoria, Australia. Uh, and I'm trying to think where where is I'm trying to, where where do we find New Zealand? Oh, off to the side there. Yeah. Oh, so like 20, okay, New Zealand. Hour plane right flight. Of Australia. Okay, New Zealand's had 1,861 cases, 25 deaths. Does that sound like a good place to go? How are you yep. gonna get there? Huh? How are you gonna get there? Uh, how are we gonna get there? I don't know. I get, I, for the the people at home, I'm gonna get off of this, but I'll uh, go back to it if I need <laughs> to. Uh, let me see here. Where did you say? I said, how, did, how are you going to get there, though? Well, that's the problem. <laughs> okay, that's the problem. China, you know, uh, you go to Beijing, uh, Hubei, China. Oh, boy, 4,000 deaths. I never even heard of Hubei. Uh, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to, oops. I'm trying. Uh, I hate this thing. It's really just very sensitive to every move I might make on it. Uh, let me see here. Australia, where where the hell is New Zealand? Oh, I just have New Zealand there. No, that's Fiji. They've only had two deaths in Fiji. We could go to Fiji. Okay. With 32 cases. Okay, pack your bags. We're all going to Fiji. <laughs> Of course, maybe they won't let us in there because they'll go, well, hey, you're not coming here. We don't have very not many Americans. Deaths. Let me yeah, see here. Not... Where is this? Guam. Well, 54. That's a lot. Okay. Here today, Guam tomorrow. Uh, let's see here. Where, where, where is this? Um, Reunion, France. Have you ever heard of Reunion, France? Where is that, an island? It's, yeah, it's off the coast of Africa. And oh. they've had 16 cases. They got three people who live there. Each of them got it a couple of times, you know. It sounds like one of those old French penal colonies. In case people want to see that, that's, uh, that's where it is, folks, where you see that right there. See that? There. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Jakarta doesn't seem to have many. Let's see here. Jakarta? Well, Singapore. Ugh. 11,374 deaths. Well, we're not going there. Uh, let me see here. What's this? Uh, Madagascar. Forget that. Off of Madagascar, there is Mayotte, France. But they've had 42 deaths. I mean, this is really, this is really ridiculous. Uh, so I, where, where are we going, guys? What's our, uh, what's our, what's our um, uh, itinerary? Oh wait a minute. Here's the one I wanted to look at. Greenland. Oh yeah. Whoops. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Greenland? I don't think there are any in Greenland. I don't think there are any people in Greenland. Yeah, right, yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a dot, there's a dot. Okay. Greenland, Denmark. Did you know it was Denmark? Yeah. What's 14, Greenland? this is where we're going. 14 cases, zero deaths. Mm. Okay? That's where we're going. That's the safest place on the planet, practically. Uh, there's another place here. Where is it? Where is this? Oh, this is Iceland. Iceland's only had 10. But I'm, I think uh, Greenland is our, uh, is, uh, is our place to go. You know. Uh, uh, Rhode Island. Hmm? Wait a minute. Let me, let me let Tony in here. Rhode Island. <laughs> hmm? Rhode Island? Oh, <laughs> yeah, Rhode Island, sure. <laughs> and Shecky. Hmm. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Well. Anyway. So that, that's uh, I, 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 uh, fun with maps is what we're uh, yeah what we're uh, playing right now. Now, come on. I gotta I gotta get this back to being small again. How do I do that? Hmm. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Uh, here we go. Uh, come on, folks. Let's go. I'm ch I can't get out of here. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Hmm. Janet? Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, well. Uh, oh, there we go. Ah. No? Here we go. Boom. There we go. Okay. I'm having, having to go back and get it 
small again so that I can look at it right. Here in, in the United States, of course, we're up to uh, 210,852 deaths, which is not very good. Hi, Tony. No, Hi. no, no wallpaper Shucky. tonight. You're in bed. Yeah, this is the bedroom. Is that He's doing Shucky. Shucky's you know, a... She's on the couch tonight. Why is so she? If I was in the di- Why is because he... we can't fall asleep. Really? Mm. Yeah, because now she's sitting on the couch, so I couldn't call in the dining room because you'd be here to talk to me. Alex, I had to get away from her. I, was, she, I, I gave her a Tylenol PM. You'd think that would knock her out. She's still going. How is she have, still have you, have you tried a sledgehammer? <laughs> I can't take her anymore. <laughs> hey, let's see your face a uh, little more. You, you, all we got is okay. your nose. You look like you're, you're wearing a face mask. Uh, I'm tired. Yeah. We, <laughs> Tony and I know the the biggest the biggest news item today, right? Tony, yeah. what's our biggest news item today? Eddie died. I'm very upset. Yeah, oh. Eddie Van Halen died yeah. today. Still didn't get over Randy Rhodes dying young, oh. but Eddie lived till 65. We're not talking about Randy. 65? We're not talking about Randy Rhodes, the talk show host. We're talking about no, Randy the Rhodes. That, I think you want to interview Ozzy. I'm not sure. I still didn't get over that Randy dying. Why can't they take my uncle instead of Randy Rhodes? <laughs> How long ago was that, though? Eighty-three. I still oh, okay. Get over it. Well, I think you you, you should start <laughs> getting pissed. you should start to think about getting over it. My friend told me, you know, Randy died. I said, you got to be kidding me. This better be a joke. I said, no, son of a bitch. I said. Well, Eddie Van Halen. Name? Eddie Van Halen died today, and yeah, yeah. that was a big one. Yeah, he was sixty-five. He had cancer. He's had it for yeah. years, though. They yeah. say. Yeah, yeah, I think the, the coolest thing about him is when you're a, a teenager and you know in the '80s growing up, you know Van Halen, obviously, but you also were in love with uh, Valerie Bertinelli. She was yeah. the you know our heartthrob, and then he married her. It's like, oh my God, the guy's got everything. So. It was it was a cute couple. It was a really cute couple, yeah. and they looked alike too. If you think about it, my sister said yeah. that you know she looked like. One Why did they break up? Do you remember? I don't know. He was a drunk and drugs and stuff. Oh yes, that was Probably. it. Yeah. Probably had a fast life, right? Yeah, but I think I, would... he, I think he sobered up, didn't he? Later on. I think yeah. so. Way uh, way later. Yeah, way they later. They were dysfunctional, the Van Halen brothers. It sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know, he, know you know, you know who pretty... didn't die today? Who? Donald, Donald Trump. So. <laughs> Trump had to live and Eddie had to go. I mean, Jesus, is there any balance of the scales? Alex, I think he's faking it, like Charlie said. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. But then you're right. Do you think he was acting on that balcony? I keep watching it, like you said. Yeah. Who like, is like, I think he's faking it. Like, oh, like I'm in pain and does the whole, I, I think I'm kidding me, this fucking guy. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. I saw Rudy that. You know I something? I got to tell you. Let, say this. Hold I want on. Rudy to get it out. Oh, no. I, I Bill Barr is the guy I'm rooting for. Oh, yeah. Are you over, <laughs> over Rudy? And because he was at the Rose Garden hugging everybody. Mm-hmm. He's, He's got to get it. No way. Huh? He's sitting there talking to her right in her face. Yeah. 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 Coach. I but want Rudy, though. Did well, you hear uh, Limbaugh and uh, we jump up and well, down Rudy the was there. Rudy was there, supposedly. He was there because he says, How do I even get girl? Well, let's not count on chicken shit, Rudy. Yeah. Because he's Dracula. <laughs> I, yeah, yes. I mean, I hate to wish it on, but so, I would like to. Yes, see John it. Larkin. So, so Limbaugh and uh, um, Tucker are, are spreading the rumor now that. That they're they're th- they're saying it's very suspicious that only the Republicans are coming down with uh, COVID. <laughs> they're only ones stupid enough not to wear masks. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And like may- maybe well, the uh, you know the uh, there, there, are... there are a couple of things that have hit me. Number one, is anybody surprised that he got COVID? I mean, I was a little come on, it was true. like he was going around saying, "Breathe in my face, I want to get COVID." You know, I mean, it was like you you, you, you couldn't get around it. And secondly, um, I I just think that um, uh, he, 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 you know, that, well, now I forgot what I was going to say. But but basically it was that, you know, this was a guy who was asking for it, you know? He was. You think he's definitely, see, see, I mean, you think he, it sounds like you think he's going to drop dead then maybe. I think there's a good chance this thing yeah. is going to take a turn because it's not unusual for it to do that. That when you first get it, you go, hey, I'm beating this. I'm beating this. And then all of a sudden, it starts beating you. 
Yeah. You know, so um, uh, who knows? You know. I wonder if they've given anybody that that combination and that quantity of of cocktail before. It. Yeah. <clears throat> By the way, uh, Tony, turn your uh, iPad sideways, the other way. Okay. Sideways. Let's, yeah, there. That's nice. That looks good. Okay. I gotta get into bed. This room. Oh, is, that, room is, is no wallpaper. Oh, is that your? I made it go. Is that your paper. bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> Since I was twelve. <laughs> well, no. There was a period of time there you were living in the basement, if you may That's remember. That's true. They threw me down there and hope I would leave. <laughs> but then every once in a while, I came up and said, "You still here, Lee?" Yeah, he's still yeah. here. He'll but, never leave, Nancy. But no, it, it, it's just that uh, uh, everybody expected this to uh, to happen. And, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, I think that um, uh, he has literally infected his entire yeah. White House. Now, I, I don't know if he... Died, I'm yeah. beginning to think he was the source of infection. I, mean, I don't think... Uh, that Hope Hicks? Or what's, her, what's her name? Um, the uh, Hope Hicks. Yeah. I, I don't think she was the source. I think she was just the first one to come down with, with signs. Mm -hmm. I think it, they show pictures of that Rose Garden thing, mm. and they show yeah. all the people that got it. And they, they're all sitting right next to each other. Mm -hmm. you know. And today they got a couple of more people that have it. Uh, Stephen, yeah. uh, I'm trying to remember his name now, got it, the president's... Uh, Aid, the Aid. alien looking guy. Yeah. yeah. And he uh, Stephen Miller? Uh, Stephen Miller. Yeah. Stephen mm. Miller came down with it. Uh, and, uh, it, you know, it's, it, 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 and it's part, you know, I can't, I can't t take a certain amount of any kind of happiness in this because no, I, you're I, right. I, because I, I, I don't, I don't wish it. this on anybody, you know? Um, but I, but you know, it's a shame. Say like if you told me like if I woke up tomorrow morning, and I and I heard Rudy did get it, I probably wouldn't really feel bad though. Well, nobody says you have to. No, nobody says you have to feel bad or sit shiva for these guys. You know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to do that. Uh, but I was talking to I was talking to um, uh, Patrick the other night because we did this little thing on Saturday night, just a couple of us talking with each other. And he was, he, he didn't even call the show because he was mad the way everybody was treating Trump in this whole thing. Like oh. they were wishing him dead. And I said, I don't think that it was really that so much as he has so denied this hmm, uh, 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 plague. See, he's so denied it and so denied the ways you solve it and wearing a mask and all of that that when mm. he finally got it, it was just like, he was asking for it. Yep. You know, it wasn't it wasn't like I feel sorry for somebody if he stayed indoors and suddenly somebody some kid came trick or treating or something and gave him COVID mm -hmm. and he died. Yeah, you that know. would be sad. Like I, I tried everything, I put masks on. Yeah. But I mean, I just don't uh, this doesn't doesn't really I th I I don't think it's that we're and, and plus the fact. Now here's the other thing. This yeah, this was the thing I wanted to bring up. And there are two people on this panel who've been saying this tonight. Oh. Here's a guy who got COVID, took him to the hospital, the whole nine yards, all right? I would say a third of America doesn't believe it. Yeah, what does that say? Well, I mean, what, I that, what, that, what that speaks to is not so much that they want him dead or anything like that, but they don't, don't believe. believe him because he lacks so little trust with the American public that they don't even think he would do this without faking it or for political reasons. I still, uh, yeah. That's but, bad if I a country. Now, I think he's got it. Uh, I think there's a good chance it's going to get worse again. And I oh, think really? it's, it, would you I mean, agree no, with me on this, Brian? You know the disease fairly well. Yeah, I, I think because also he has that macho <laughs> attitude and they took him out of that, out of the, the White House to the hospital. And I don't think that he would want to go at all. Just like he wanted to get back as quickly as possible. Well, he shows that as a, sign, as a sign of weakness. I think none of those doctors wanted to say no to him. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I think that he, he is literally committed suicide by doing that. 
They'd be better <clears throat> off being in the hospital, being monitored every day, having all his vitals checked, you know, and I don't care what they say they've got at the White House. It ain't Bethesda Naval Hospital, you know? So, I don't know. Uh, I, uh, but but what, what does it say about Trump that the public doesn't even believe he has this thing, and another third of the public is glad that he does, and then a third of the public is mourning, oh, my God, the president has COVID. You know. Somebody I, compared it to Hitler. If Hitler were to catch on fire and burn to death, mm -hmm. it would be ironic. You know, they're saying with the COVID thing, if he were to die from that, it would be ironic. Uh, I, I just think I think he I think he has it, okay? Because I don't see how he doesn't have it. I, I don't see how he didn't get it three months ago. All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, would you agree with that, Charlie? I mean, that the the possibility that a, he really has it is better than the possibility that he's faking it. Well, he didn't have it three months ago, I think, because he he wouldn't let anybody within twenty feet of him without having all kinds of COVID tests. Yeah. In fact, um, I think it was uh, Cuomo said when he went to visit Trump, he oh. and his people, they all had to be tested twice before they could yeah. go in and see him. Oh, shit. See, he doesn't want nobody near him. Oh, he's a germaphobe. Yeah. He's a big germaphobe. Oh, I didn't know that. And that's why I'm so surprised that he didn't go for wearing the mask, you know, and made fun of it. Because if you're a germaphobe, masks are your, your friend, you know. Yeah. They're your religion. I mean... You wonder who he got it from then. Hmm? I'm guessing he got it from the whole pigs then, if I had to guess. But no, right? I, it could, you know, it could have been anybody at the Rose Garden that day. Anybody. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, it, 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 yeah, it could be anybody. Who knows? It could be Chris Christie, because he's in the hospital in Jersey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Jeff, you had your hand up? You yeah, I was going to say, if... If I was working for Trump mm -hmm. and I was not sick, I would tell him I had to stay home tomorrow oh, because I'm sick to anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking a sick I day. I wouldn't be going there at all. <laughs> I can't make it. Well, I mean, right. what's happened to the White House? And now the Can Pentagon. Wait, the Pentagon. Pentagon all yeah. but one of the, uh, uh, the chiefs of staff are go have gone into quarantine. Yeah. That's Nobody's our working. entire military infrastructure. I mean, going is, home and staying in uh, under, you know, I mean, of course they can do, you know, meetings and things like that uh, because we have the ability to do it. But I mean, really, I mean, it's it, it spread like wildfire all over the Republican side. Yeah. It's almost like they're getting karma back at them big time. Well, mm. I, I just think it was about time. What, 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 are, what are they saying in uh, in the Kuala Lumpur about this, uh, or don't they care? <laughs> oh, well, no, the, the government really? is quarantined here as well. Oh, really? Why? Do they have lunch with Trump? Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> typhoid Mary. <laughs> typhoid Donald. I don't know. Tom, Tom. I don't know why, they but uh, they, they're quarantining now. Well, we, I you we know. have uh, yeah we have some cases building in the prisons, and also they had an election over in East Malaysia in a just a uh, district called Sabah, and mm -hmm. uh, they they've been noticing increases there as a result of the election. So now anybody from that uh, district is prohibited from traveling outside of that district. Oh, okay. Well, we're all moving to Greenland. That's you safe. know, this whole crowd here That's is going safe. to Greenland. Yeah. Safest place on earth. Of course, the, the reason is, so. you know, well, they don't have penguins in Greenland. That's, that's I like Antarctica. Penguins. I want to go where it's cold. Oh, Antarctica probably is another place to go. Yeah, yeah. there's no cases there. Yeah. What are you doing with your hands there? Are you washing mm -hmm. them, uh, Bree? Yeah, got my antibacterial. Guess what I, I have. I just came in. Well, me too. I mean, hold on a second. Oops, I pushed I've the wrong button, and I just got uh, got, a uh, I got the wrong people there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I, I accidentally pushed a button here. I have. I've got many but I, I have this. Does that look? Yeah, there you go. Good, Brian. Does that look? I, yeah. uh, I must say, I'm a germaphobe too. Oh, that's the one you sent. Me. I used to not shake hands. 
You, you, you used to not shake people's hands? Yeah, like a, a lot of the times I, I was, and I tell them I'm like Trump. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I just don't like that, that procedure. I much prefer a way, you know, or a little, little wave or a bow. You know, I don't I think, like touching that you way. You know what I think? I never. What I think is kind of lame is the elbow oh. bump. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you know. <laughs> we just shake my hand. I got cream. Don't worry about it. You know, but and don't blow me a kiss. No, I never got into that. <laughs> don't do that, Alex. What? I, I've got to tell you that a lot of the things that COVID is, I, I'm actually so in favor of, and I just hope it stays oh. that way. Like having an extra seat next to you when you're at the restaurant, so they don't pack someone next to you. Yeah. And also, uh, I always thought hospitals were like germ zones. I, I, I always felt terrible going in there because I thought I was going to get more sick going in than, you know, just mm. going in than if I stayed away. And now they're pretty clean. You know, I mean, I was talking about the now other day that I, I, I started taking the bus home from my dentist's office. I take, a, I take a car there, but I take a bus home. Mm -hmm. And you go, well, bus, boy, that's got to I went I on the bus done. the other day. I was the only person on the bus for about 80% mm -hmm. of the trip. Nice. Was it a cleaner bus? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And was you it know, a little bit cleaner? And Yeah. Yes. And every, this is my world. I love this. I hear the subways. I haven't been down there, Me but I hear like the it. subways. You could eat off the floors there. Uh, they're that uh, clean. I mean, they have just, they go in there every night from one till five in the morning and they disinfect the entire thing. And then they put down a, a, um, um, a layer of some kind of antibacterial that supposedly will last the rest of the day. Uh, and uh, then they kick everybody out at one in the morning and they go spraying again, you know. They needed to do that at the White House. They needed to do this in the subway years ago. Yeah, it was something down there. Hmm. Now, the White House, uh, what a Petri dish that has become. Yeah. What if, if Biden wins, he goes in oh, and God. he ends up getting COVID there? <laughs> Kamala Harris is our new president. No, you just, uh, all Biden's got to say, I ain't going in there till you disinfect the whole place. Yeah. They, they had Throw people the in there today disinfecting Burn. it. Burn. That whole place. They had people in there today disinfecting it with hazmat suits on. You know? <clears throat> I mean, that's how, how dangerous the White House is right now. Um, some, some Republican senator said he was going to dress up in a moon suit to vote on the Supreme Court justice thing. Like, uh, what, what kind of idiots are, are there? You know, whether they vote for her today or a month from now, it's the same outcome. And there's no difference, you know. I but, don't think that, you know, I don't think that vote's going to happen. Not, not before the election. I think yeah, she, it should not happen. No, there's it, no reason. Well, I mean... I, mean, I don't know if the senators want to go back, knowing now what Washington has become. I mean, do you want, you know, do you want to really go back for the sake of voting for this uh, head of the Supreme Court, uh, for, the, for this, uh, not head of the Supreme Court, but this Supreme Court justice? Some of them do. Hmm? It's like she's jinxing them, Ruth. Yeah. It's like they wouldn't even put her in the ground and they were already picking the bones over her. Now, yeah. all of a sudden, a week later, they're dropping like flies. Yep. 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 And I, like, I, show I, some respect for the it. dead. For God's well, I, you know, I mean, I I think they could have waited. I, you know. Um, they didn't even have the, the lunch. The, the fact that they now. won't wait, the fact that they wouldn't wait, okay, is that's proof right. positive they don't believe he's going to win. Well, that's what it is. Because if they yeah. believed he was going to win, they wouldn't be yelling and screaming for that vote. Right now, they go. Oh, we'll wait till he gets reelected. But they don't believe it he's going to get reelected. So they think he's done then. Oh, they think he's done. You think if he loses, he gives a. Well, you think if a, he loses, he gives a speech, the losing speech, or you think he hides? No, he calls out the uh, the uh, Proud Boys. Uh, <laughs> that would be good. Yeah, heck of the racist. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, you know he will never up. concede. Oh, I think there will be. Would you agree Trump with me on this, never Charlie? Concede, and he won't yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, the, would you agree with this, Charlie? That uh, if Trump loses, is going to be rioting in the streets? Yeah, by the Proud Boys in the next. I mean, yeah. yeah. And, and do you think that if he wins, is going to be rioting in the streets? 
I think there'd be more rioting in the streets if he wins and if he loses. Oh, if he yeah. loses, there's going to be partying in the streets. Yeah. Well, here, no, here, here's, here's the scenario. On, They say that the Republicans are going to vote at the polls. And the Democrats are going to vote by mail-in. So what's going to happen on the night of the election, we have to stop getting used to getting the results the same night, okay? Uh -huh. But Trump is going to play it like that's the night you got to care about. And if he comes out winning on oh, election God. night, I'm he's going, going to declare it. himself the winner and say all those mail-in ballots don't count. Yep. That's why I'm urging everybody, if you possibly can, oh. vote at a polling place, if you can do it if you feel safe enough to do it. Uh, the reason being that you don't want that eventuality. You want him to know that he just got beaten fair and square. And he still won't believe it, you know, because he's a bad loser, just a bad loser. So. That's why I don't want him to die. I want to see him lose. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point, Brian. Yeah, hopefully he stays alive. Now, you vote. You he will vote. never technically lose. He'll find a way to spin it. Yeah, but you, uh, um, uh, uh, Bree, uh, you're um, you vote absentee, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do you get the ballot? They mail one to you from wherever your home state is. Yes. You don't. You don't seem to know. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't seem to know. No, your... I, I didn't get it this time because I moved. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So you're not voting in this one. Yeah, so it's probably over at the other house. I probably have a pile of mail over at the old house, and I I just don't like the landlord and the owner, so I'm trying to figure out how to get it. I, I think I'll ask the security team at some point, uh, but I'll probably miss. But I found someone who's not going to vote, and I asked them if they would vote on it for me, and they said yes. So. And so who, who can I ask who you're going to have them Vote for? <laughs> no, because I don't know yet. You don't know yet. Ooh, undecided. You don't. You don't think he'd vote for Trump, however. Yeah, he thinks he might. Really? Okay. Well, hey, look. You oh, know. but he, Kanye. He just said that he's not going to sign the stimulus package until after the election. Well, so until uh, until he's reelected. Oh, no, yeah, heard right. that shit. We ain't so, going to get a check now, for God's sakes. No, but Biden will definitely sign that, I think. So yeah, I might go with Biden if he's going to give me 1200 uh, and bucks. And it, Biden should say that. Biden should say, I'm not going to play this game. We're going to take care of that first thing. Yeah. yeah that's a good point. People are suffering. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah but now, now Trump's tweeting that uh, he's willing to send everybody a $1,200 check right now. He's just playing games. Yeah. He's bribing for their vote now. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, yeah. read his tweets in the next 24 hours, because I think you're going to you're gonna really hours. see some craziness going on. Because yeah. those drugs are going to get to him. All right. How strong is those drugs he's taking, not the, uh, the steroids? Yeah, when you yeah. take steroids, yeah. you do feel... Uh, I, I've had a lot of people who take that, and you do feel better. You feel younger for maybe really? the time period you're on it. Mm -hmm. But after about a week, uh, you start deteriorating, and it can wreak havoc on your system. Yeah. Also, we might see something when him. So you think by next week, Alex, he's going to look different? Then? I think by next week, uh, he may not be. He may be on life support. Really? Could be. And and Biden may announce that now. he's not COVID on life And I'm That's not it. hoping for it, but I'm just saying that. Oh, wow. You know, I looked at my uh, my magic eight ball, and it says it is indicated. You know, I I watched that debate again. Oh. If Trump was contagious at that moment, Biden would have it. He's yelling and gesticulating and going crazy. He's yeah. definitely projecting. Hey, listen, I got to go here because the themes were going to run out before you guys do. Uh, Brian Neary, good seeing you again. Uh, of course, great seeing you again, Alex. Uh, great seeing you again, Charlie. Jeff, always nice. John Irving, great to see you. Tony. Nice to see you without the wallpaper. And, of course, uh, Bree, thanks for calling us this evening. Uh, all, all of you, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you. Okay, there they go. Okay, and now I'm in sync, you see. 
Anyway, let me uh, say goodbye to them and get rid of them and tell you that next is Jack Bishop. He's here with The Intersection. He'll be doing that on Skype at GabNet Live is the Skype number to call. We'll see you again uh, tomorrow night. There's a sports show on at 8.30 with the franchise MC, and then we're here at 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there and wear a mask. Good night, everybody.